Hello and welcome to this video. Today I will show you a new ChatGPT plugin called CodeRunner. So CodeRunner is basically an online compiler which can run and save your code in 70 programming language. So it can do your code execution, the file management, upload and download files and it can also generate the graphs. So head over to ChatGPT and go to plugin store and search for CodeRunner code runner and install it and you need to authorize it via email so you will get some of the authorization code in your email so after you have authorized you can use it so I have compiled a list of tasks uh, it can perform so the basics operation what it can do is write uh, so I have given instructions for write prime numbers from and save this code and then I it will download the code and it will run this code and show the output so let's see the output one by one so the code has been successfully run so you can see the output here so it uses a jdoodle compiler from backend so now let's move to the next task that is saving the code so you can save any type of code and give it the name of the file you can want. So it has already given us the link. So now it's trying to download the, uh, the, the file that has been generated. So you can see the file has been downloaded successfully. So you can also do this uh, by going to the link so it will try to run this so you can see the download link here if you will click it so it will try to download it and you can see here the code has been downloaded so now let's move it, uh, to the another task that is uploading a document so you can upload any type of document here so i've already given this document and told uh, chat gpt to name this file so you can upload it any type of document like csv pdf excel file for your code to be used later so the document has been successfully downloaded so now we'll tell him to download this file download this file and show the output so if you want to download any file you need to remember the name of the file and give the name to the chat gpt So let's see, uh, you can download the file here. So we can see the download, we have clicked the download link and we can see the data here. So the next thing is uh, we can generate some of the graphs here. So we can generate different types of graph. Let's move to the graph section. So. If you have the data set for the graph, you can provide it like this and tell him to generate some of the graphs. So it, for this method, it's using quick chart, uh, quick chart library to generate some of the graphs. So it supports various types of graphs. So we can see the graph has been generated here. So let's move it to another example. If you have uh, some of the data like this, in the JSON format so there is not no upload button or some of the interface so you have to provide the document like this and tell him tell the code runner to generate some of the graphs for the given data or you can also save this or upload this file and tell the code runner to generate some of the graphs from this file so I have given this the data directly into the code runner and it will try to generate some of the graph. So it has generated this uh, first is the line chart and second generated a bar, bar chart. So it, it looks pretty well and uh, yeah. So there are two types of graphs right now. One is from quick chart, another is from using Python. So I have another data set 
and I will tell him to generate some of the graphs for this data set or let's try to do something and first we will upload this and upload this file as the name of the file you want is mobile data dot csv let's hit enter and tell him to upload this data and now let's wait uh, you can upload any type of document and you can also tell him to download it again so you just need to remember the name of the file so the document has already been uploaded to csv so let's check it out so the uh, mobile data has been downloaded so you can see now let's say the name of the file is this one now we have to say is download the file this one and generate me some graph using python so now it will use python and in build chat uh, graphs and chart libraries using python and will try to generate some of the graphs so right now I'm supporting this matplotlib and plotly. So maybe I will shift to quick charts. So you have to check for the updates for the code runner in future. So let's wait and see what type of graph and uh, charts that will be generated from the Python. So it has given us the code. Let's see what was the error. That plot lib is not defined. So now let's copy this and tell him run this code. You can also do this. You want to do like this. Run this code and show me output. You can give uh, the code from the input and tell him to run this code and it will try to run this code and generate the output now let's wait so so this time it has all successfully generated the chart so you uh, this one is the chart from the python so besides uh, drawing charts and some of the technical stuff, we can go and do some non-technical stuff as well. So now let's do some of the non-technical stuff. So what it can do is it can basically perform like a code interpreter. So what it can do is like show me some of prime factors, reversing a string, count the numbers, or sort a list so you can perform various uh, tasks so let's see uh, there was an error so let's see mm, so let's wait uh, so this uh, time it has already successfully uh, it has run the code successfully so now it's trying to generate uh, the next thing is reversing the string so you can try different types of uh, non-technical stuff so now it's performing and counting the number of strings so that was the next task So you can uh, use this at a, as a word counter, character counter, reversing a string. So you get the idea, right? Uh, so you can do basically all, all the non-technical stuff. Like I have given it, like calculate the area, calculate number of days between uh, the date, convert the temperature and display current time and different types of stuff you can do from there. So if you want to go to this uh, website and 
uh, you can check uh, different go to the privacy and read the privacy terms and agreements and uh, make sure you uh, understand them and follow them before installing them so thanks for watching and um, i will have the, all the links in the youtube description ab uh, about the, all the discord and the website so make sure to check the description of the youtube video so thanks for watching